Hey, this is our uh, second in our series about my semi-portable hydraulic winch. Um, today we're going to look at the the engine that runs it and the power pack. Uh, and uh, so let's get right into this. Um, first of all, um, we had a basic unit that we got that had a 270 motor on it without electric start. Um, that basically comes with the hydraulic setup. We swapped that out for a 390, brand new 390GX. Uh, put that in there with electric start. Uh, has a 10 amp charging coil um, so that we have enough to run the switch on the winch. Um, you can modify a 270 to uh, take a starter if it doesn't come with a starter and um, but you'd have to buy the starter, drill out the drill out the hole for the starter to go in, buy the flywheel, uh, and another thing you have to get a hold of is this little electronic box down here. Um, you got to have that on those Honda motors. They will not it will not run right. Um, you can get it to start, uh, but your timing would be all screwed up even if you have the new flywheel. Uh, that's for an electric start setup. You've got to have that box too. Um, so there's a few things you have to have and it'll cost you a bit of money to do that completely. Um, so we went with the 390. Gives us a little bit more power. Um, not that the thing was underpowered, but what it means is it has to work less hard. Um, so I like that. I went with a company called Equiptron. Um, if they're still doing business like they were, um, then highly recommend them. Um, the only reason I say that is it's been a little while since we bought this. And if they're doing even more better business than they were, um, I think they were perfectly fine and we're very happy with our purchase from them and pricing and all that stuff was great. Um, so I highly recommend them. Um, so again, that's Equiptron and I will put that in the video. Uh, that company, check them out, look them up online. Um, so what we had to do was we had to we bought this engine uh, and then we had to come up with a battery and a battery box and uh, we had to come up with uh, cables I you know battery cables I made them up myself um, might do a video on how we make those um, in the future because um, some of the battery cables you buy are not that good um, and you can make like a you know, one odd or two odd or whatever gauge you want, and there's a way to make them so that they're 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 nice. Um, but anyways, uh, built this battery tray here, bought this battery box, bought a battery from Napa, um, you know, a lawn and, and garden battery from Napa. Um, made this battery box, made this uh, this metal tray, welded it up, and made it so it bolts on to the across the bottom of the engine here. Right welded these up and it goes all the way through and I made it so that the holes line up with the mounts for the engine too except for in the front they're on a separate thing um, so I made that that system up um, I'll probably be painted again here spring comes up I'll probably take it off and do a repaint on it um, but uh, we made that battery tray as I said because um, you gotta have a battery um, you know, so I put a small lawn and garden battery in it, as I said. Um, this has the quick fittings that will fit the other quick fittings on the on the winch. Um, you know, so I I put these off of here, and and uh, we've got some covers. Uh, these covers are good for this. Um, as I said, I need to buy some new covers for the winch side of it. Um, so that's that's all set and those are on there um, having those covers is important when you're not using them. the unit um, this is the lever for engaging the hydraulics um, so uh, basically that's the unit um, you got a filter on here for filtering the, the hydraulic fluid um, this has uh, automatic transmission fluid in it um, there's a couple different you can use like a different kind of hydraulic fluid. The reason why we chose to use 
automatic transmission fluid is that if we hook it up to a truck, um, you know, a lot of the old trucks used, um, some of them used uh, transmission fluid uh, for their power steering too. Um, because you can run that winch off of power steering fluid and you can run it uh, to run off your truck, um, which we can set up that way. So, um, so should that arise, we'll either be using transmission fluid, um, or if it's a truck that has a certain uh, type of uh, power steering fluid, we'll be swapping over to power steering fluid. Just wanted to show you that unit real quick. Um, we are going to be doing uh, more videos in the series. Um, we're going to be hooking up the winch and we're going to show you how it works. Um, I'm going to be probably using one of those logs out there in the distance there that, that are down. Um, it'll move those no problem. So. Uh, so that's a video that we'll be doing in the future. If you have any questions, um, feel free to, to ask in the comment section. Um, we'll make comments. Or you can uh, use my email from uh, my channel if you don't feel like uh, putting them directly in the comments. Um, also, um, if you like this uh, video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Um, and, uh, but we appreciate your time. And, some in the future and yes we will be doing a video which actually shows us uh, using the unit.